Hi guys, it's Mr B here and in today's video we're going to look at something that's called partitioning numbers. Now, it sounds hard but really it's not that hard at all. Basically the word partition means we're going to break it into different pieces. And I want to show you how to do it really easily here. So we've got two numbers on our board. First number we've got is 21 and we can see it's 21 because we've got two tens and one one. And over here we've got 34 and we can see it's 34 because we've got our one, two, three our three tens, so we've got three in our tens column, and one, two, three, four, four ones. So we've got four in our ones column. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break it into two different parts. So the easiest way for me to break this is to put my tens here and my ones there. So I'm going to draw a picture first, so I'm going to think I've got two ten sticks, so I'm going to put my two ten sticks there. Put one in there. And then I'm going to put my one, one into this side. Brilliant. So now I've got my two tens and my one, one. That's absolutely broke into two. And I've got my tens and my ones. Okay. So I could see here my 21. I can see that it's got two tens and one, one. Okay, let's do the same with our 34. Have a little think, how many tens am I gonna draw on here? Have a look at my number 34. How many tens have I got? And always remember, if you're doing this question at home or you're doing it at school or wherever you're doing it, you can either use these tens and ones if you have them, or if you haven't, you can always draw a picture of them. So if you said three tens, you're right, because look, I've got one, two, three tens. So if I draw my tens in there, that one's a little bit wobbly, looks a little bit like a worm, not a ten. And there we go. And see, I've got my three tens in there. What I'm going to do now is put my ones in there. Have a quick think. How many ones are going to go in there? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four. And see, it's four in my ones column. So I can put my four ones there. So I can see now that my 34 is broken down into three tens and four ones. And I brought my two numbers, I partitioned them. Now, that's good, but what we're gonna have a look at now is how we can do that when we got used to doing it with the pictures how we can do it with numbers. So let's have a look. So I'm going to rub my tens out here and I'm going to keep the same numbers. So I'm going to keep 21 and I'm going to keep 34. So we can remember them and it makes it a little bit easier for you. Oh, Mr. B's rubber is a little bit squeak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub the numbers off at the side now. Okay, and I'm just going to write them in the top here. So we had 21 there, so if I'm not drawing my picture, I can just write 21 and I can write 34. So I've got my two numbers now. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same, okay? I'm gonna break them down, but I'm not gonna draw the pictures. I'm just gonna look at my 21 and see that in my tens column, remember tens are before our ones, in my tens column, I have, let's write in blue so we can see it, two, tens and in my ones column I have one one so now I've drawn I've just put my word straight in there I do the same here how many tens do we have here again we can see our tens column before our ones so I've got three tens in there super and then if I look at my ones column I have four ones so now I've broken it, but that's not really how we see our numbers, do is it? Okay, so there is another way. I'm going to change these to red. And we can see that we've got two tens there, okay? But rather than write two tens, I just want to write my numbers. I want to write my numerals. So I've got to think in my head, what is two tens the same as? And two tens is the same as 20. Look, you can see we've got our two and our tens column. And then we have to put a zero on because it's actually 20, not just two. 
have a look here. Ones are easy because ones stay the same. So 21 is actually 20 and 1. Okay. And we have 34. Let's have a think. It's three tens. What is three tens the same as? It's the same as 30. You can count in tens. Or we can see we've got our three at the front and we put our zero on because it's tens. Ten, zero makes it ten times bigger. And our ones is easy, it's the same. So 34 can be partitioned into 30 and 4. And we know because if we put those two parts together, 30 and 4, they come and make 34. Right, now I know how smart you are, so I think you'll have got those. So let's do another couple of practice just to see. Always good when you think you've got something to have a little practice to see whether you actually have it. So I'm going to put up, uh, let's say we've got 90, big number, 95, and we're going to have 15, right? So we're going to break them. If you want now, you could have a pause of the video, have a go at these, and then have a look to see if you've got the right answer. I'll give you a little second to pause. There you go. Right, so we've got 95 now. So in these columns, I'm going to put, see if you can spot a mistake I'm going to make. I can say I've got my nine, so I'm going to put my nine here. And put my five, put my five there. Can you spot the mistake I've made? When I've looked at my nine here, that's in the tens column, isn't it? So nine tens I have, and nine tens isn't just nine, it's 90. Okay, we've got our nine with our zero on the end. Let's look at this one. I'm not going to make the mistake this time. I've got 15. So I've got one 10, which is 10. Put my zero on to make 10. And then that number is always easy with my ones. It's five. So 95 can be partitioned into 90 and five and 10 and five. Okay. So if you want to partition some numbers, you can do it like that. What I'm going to do and show you now is how if you wanted to do some really hard partitioning how you can do it so I'm going to use the same number on both of these and I might draw another one uh, afterwards actually because we haven't got much space so I'm going to do the number and they're going to be the same let's have 42 and 42 now we know from what we've just done that if we want we can break that down into four tens and we know we've got two ones. Brilliant. But we can also break it into two different parts. So I could have 40, but let's say I just had 30 there. Okay. I need to now work out what I have in here. Because if I just put my two, I would have 30 and two, wouldn't I? And I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't have 42, I'd have 32. So I have to think what would go into that box. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to using my base 10, but I'm just going to draw them as lines. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I've got my two ones. Now, if I put 30 in there, I know I've got my one, two, three tens, haven't I? So if I wipe away three tens, I'm going to look, what am I left with? One ten and two ones so what's one ten and two ones one ten two ones i would have 12. and if i wanted to work it out i could do 30 plus 12 and work it out and it would be 42. now those ones are getting really hard so if you can do those ones brilliant what you can do to practice is you could draw some of these write a number in and see how many different ways you could break it up because there will be laws that's this video done. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you do need any more help, you can pop them down in the comments. I'll try and answer if I can. And remember to subscribe so you'll always see when I put new uh, videos up. Please give the video a like if it did help you. Um, and uh, you can find me at uh, Mr. Biggins123 on my Facebook and uh, my Instagram and my Twitter if you want to uh, see, ask me any other questions or need any other help on any other things. Until next time, see you later.